everyone, YouTube land, continuing my endless series of shelving vinyl. And I think this is about the 10th or 11th in the series. And if you've been following along, the narrative's still the same. 2017, I brought a zillion albums, about 700 plus in all. <coughs> Excuse me. And I didn't have time to make videos. Well, I'm in the process of logging these albums into the uh, Excel database and putting them in the light, incorporating them to their proper place in the library. So as I do that, and I'm going to make one adjustment to the camera. As I do that, I'm making these series of videos to uh, share what I purchased in 2017. So, I got another stack here I like to share. Let me get a sip of my coffee. Looks like I got about uh, 10 albums here. I, I try to keep these videos like uh, uh, under 10 minutes. Uh, I don't want to lose the attention of the viewers. Uh, the first one is very interesting. Gatefold. And what this is, is a 1987 release of the his the, the, Isle, the Island History. Okay, Island Records. So this is like a, uh, a retrospective of Island um, Island uh, records of uh, uh, most notice releases on that label you know basically a greatest hits for, for Island Records and this is a label if you look up their history um, you know kind of world music but they have um, noted artists such as U2, Stevie Steve Winwood, um, Sly Robbie, Sly and Robbie, Toots and the uh, Mailers, uh, Bob Marley, of course, uh, Tom Waits, um, but this is, uh, uh, they took the most notable. Uh, recordings of artists that were on that label and put this uh, collection together along with text back here and the vinyls in very good condition okay um, I almost lost this album because <laughs> the cheap skated me I went to the thrift store the day before they had the 20% senior discount and the cheap skate in me uh, stuck it in the back row and I said I'll come back tomorrow so I can get the 20% discount although it was only $1.99 and a guy came in and started looking through the records I could tell he was a flipper okay there, there are signs for that so anyway um, I said oh I better get it now so I, I picked it up and got it so happy to have this in the collection okay we all know what this album is, the classic Marvin Gaye's What's Going On, and this is a, the vinyl is in pretty good condition, a little noisy here and there, but I was happy to find this album. Um, Marvin Gaye's Ode to Peace, Brotherly Love, and uh, a societal society um, overview of, of the world as it stood there and the message still carries today so a, a classic Marvin his uh, definitive masterpiece there um, another great Motown artist and this is a soundtrack Stevie Wonder um, Woman in Red I haven't seen the movie uh, it does contain the number one song I, I just called to say I love you a lot of people don't like that song you know if, it gets too commercial, too top 40. 
they dismiss it. But it, it's a, a good, not one of his greatest songs, but it, it's a good song. And uh, uh, Don't Drive Drunk is a good song. And I haven't listened to this all the way through, so um, I'm looking forward to that. And there's Stevie with all his uh, keyboards. And uh, those are modern keyboards. Tina Turner, big comeback album of the, the 80s. Um, and of course it has uh, the song, uh, What Love Got to Do With It, um, Better Be Good To Me. And uh, th this was, uh, and Mark Knopfler wrote the um, title track, um, Private Dancer. So this was a big, big comeback uh, album for Tina. A pretty good album, too. Mike Oldfield's Trouble Bells. Happy to have that. This is a band that had a couple hits in the 70s. Uh, and the hit Jackie Blue is on this. Uh, the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. And they had the other hit, if you want to get to heaven, you got to raise a little hell. I don't think that song's on here. Um, Fleetwood Mac member, Christine McVean. And this was like a... What year did this come out? 1984. Had the hit, um, Got a Hold of Me. And pretty good album. Not sensational, but an enjoyable listen. Looking at the time, I'm not a big fan of Meatloaf, and I still got to listen to this album all the way through. Just doesn't quite appeal to me. But when you find a, uh, a good condition copy at the thrift store for a buck, you know why not? T Rex, very happy to have this. A slider and I've listened to this. this is a very good album and I'm just looking at the titles Susie Contro good album Not really into this band, but another uh, cheap, good condition thrift store find. McGuire, Clark, and Hillman, veteran players in famous bands. And this is an okay album. It sounds a, a bit like the... Uh, um, the group Firefall, um, you know, the, the soft rock group Firefall in the 70s. Um, this guy had the one radio hit, uh, Fantasy, which is pretty cool, you know, ushering in the 80s now. I have to listen to this entire album to see how good it is. I imagine there's some other good tracks. Rocky Hill. And I'm not familiar with this album. I think he's a brother of one of the uh, ZZ Top members. But I looked it up on all music when I saw it in the store. It got a pretty good review. And the, the album's in immaculate condition. So I picked it up. And... Sugarloaf. Uh, they they had the the hit song "Don't Call Us, We'll Call You." Or no, no, no. Green Eyed Lady was their first hit, the big hit. And the other one came later. So this was an okay album. It has a few good tracks, and and some of it's kind of yeah, so and so. Okay, um, we're approaching on ten minutes. I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to wish everyone uh, well. And um, um, 
you know, have have a good day. Spring's coming in. I got to till my garden, get all that in. So um, your comments are welcome. Your comments, insults, don't don't be too bad. <laughs> and thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.